All right, everyone, welcome back to the Disc Golf Experience YouTube channel. Gonna do a, a quick review video of these Brixton disc cards. I have these available on my website, thediscgolfexperience.com, as a complete set for 38 bucks. Uh, you can also get them on the Brixton website if you want to go directly to them, but I appreciate your support. Trying to uh, help show Ryan that I have a, uh, a presence in the card community and hopefully can make some sales through my website. But I also have the individual cards listed. So I'm going to just open this box. I don't care if I damage the box. Wow, that looks really sharp. The first one I opened also is the cards were crisp, nicely, like if you hold them up, they are perfectly cut. If you, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, try and give you a good look at it, but where every card is exactly the same width, that's an important thing. Oftentimes uh, you get cards that, you know, they slightly miss the cut line. And then you have some that are a little wider than others, and it's not a perfect card. Um, that was the first thing when I opened the other box that I noticed, is that they are extremely consistent cut. So, all right, so there's 40 cards in the set. Um, as I said, it's, it's a throwback, kind of a vintage look uh, to the discards that were produced in 1993. 94, 95, and then 95, 96 had a Hall of Fame set. Um, Will West was the person who produced them. Uh, I don't know much about Will, but I've been told he was a pretty amazing person, and I believe he's in the Hall of Fame. Uh, Royce Raskinowski is who I had as a contact for the, the original discards, and I actually bought out everything that he had at the end to help get them spread out in the community because they didn't know if other people knew where to find them. Um, so I think I bought the last of what he had. Uh, I've got a few of those sets left for the Hall of Fame set, and I think I have a couple of the 94 set, but I don't have any more of the original run. Premier Edition 93s. This is my own personal sealed set. And so I think I have the 96 and the Hall of Fame, which is 95, 96, I think they called it. I don't remember exactly how it was numbered, but um, anyways, those are the two that I have extras of on my website also. But regardless, I'll uh, we'll get to the set. First card. Uh Again, the goal was to look kind of vintage and old. Very uh, classic looking, very clean uh, on a white-ish, maybe slightly off-white cardstock. It's a little dark. Let me see if I can get more light here. <laughs> That's why my, my light was down. Uh, but anyways, very clean look. And so far... I've only opened two. This is the second set I've opened. The quality control, like I said on this, was amazing. The corners look perfect. The uh, centering looked good on the first one. This one looks to be just maybe a hair heavy over here and a little light over here. Top to bottom looks pretty good. At least for where I would assume the intended... Um, spacing was supposed to look so anyways we got Aaron Gossage backside just has a little colored area here the name the card number DC1 is in discard one and then it says here in memory of Will West who produced the first set of disc golf trading cards called discards and then their Brixton DGPT logo being licensed product of the DGPT um, so that, Aaron Gossage, Adam Hannes, I'm sure I'm getting them in the right spot, yep, Alexis Mandahano, this is a rookie, uh, I don't know if it's a true definition of rookie, because I don't know how long Allie's been a pro, but this was the first year that, uh, 
in 2023 that we really saw Allie touring a lot. Um, so it's her first card at the very least, if not her rookie. Um, I think disc golf needs to define that, uh, even though rookie is... When it's talking about baseball, it's talking about the the card where they play their first year. Um, the card produced during their first year of play. And there's limits in terms of how many how many games they play as, as far as what's considered your rookie year. You can only play so many. So I kind of feel like, to me, it's almost like the first time that they're really out there on tour, <coughs> that, that would make the most sense to me. But be good to define that. Uh, Anthony Barella. Bradley Williams. Calvin Heimberg. Katrina Allen, Cole Radalin. So that's another one. His first uh, DGPT card was 2023. These are also considered 2023 because they were produced during that year, even though they don't have any statistics. So I technically would consider that another, his second um, rookie card because the 2023 DGPT was his first card ever made. Um, and this would be the second one made, or third, I should say, with the Golden Era sets. So third um, unique set uh, rookie card, even though Cole has everything in the Golden Era would be considered a rookie. Um, the base, the red, the blue, the black, every one of those would be. So uh, Colton Montgomery, Corey Ellis. Drew Gibson, first Eagle McMahon Brixton card produced, not his first card by any means. He was in the 2016 DGPT set even. Ella Hansen, Evelina Salonen, I think her first was 2023 DGPT also because they, the um, European people really didn't uh, tour until uh, the 2022 season. I think that's correct. They were touring after the year and a half of pandemic. So Evelina and Henna and a few others. We got the Gannon Burr on his last. Uh, yep, that's a Prodigy shirt. So last time he'll have that, at least for now. Garrett Gerthy. Haley King. Heard, heard Garrett's uh, change in companies, manufacturers of his jerky. Wondering what happened there. But he's moving on from whoever was doing it before. Hannah Blomroos. That, again, would I believe be considered a rookie. Helen Hanley was last year, was 2022, was a rookie. Isaac Robinson. That's his rookie. James Conrad. Cat merch. Oh, that doesn't even look like cat. I don't know why that looks so odd to me. That is her, though. Chris and Tatar. This is her first Brixton card. So her and Paul and a few others, the reason they weren't in the uh, Golden Era set, I think the turnaround between getting the licensing where they basically had access to anyone and um, getting the, the sets printed, they just didn't have a chance to communicate or, or get them into that set. Uh, but they've been working hard uh, to get, her, get Kristen and Paul and uh, a couple other people into these newer sets. So Kyle Klein, kind of interesting that this set is... Um, but I guess the golden era is 2022 now that I think about it. I, uh, I'm, con I'm not sure. I think it is 2022. Uh, Lucky Lorenzen. I still don't know how to pronounce your name. Lucky. Matt Oram. Missy Gannon. Nicholas Antela. A little discussion about him going around is... 
He claimed to be ending, or his contract was up with this mania. But the rumors are that he may be signing to a higher level of team and not actually moving to a different manufacturer. So he might be uh, one of the last, actually, to announce for this year. Owen Scoggins. Paige Pierce. There's the first Paul Macbeth Brixton card. Paul Ulibarri. I actually question where this photo was taken. That just looks like a regular old t-shirt. Not a dry fit. Maybe it is, and I can't tell. But I wondered if that was like an exhibition or something where he wasn't required to meet the PDGA uh, dress code. Ricky Wysocki. Sayananda. That's her rookie card. First one I've seen and made. Sarah Holcomb. Simon Lazat, Stacy Ronsley, also a rookie, Valerie Mondejano, and Zach Melton. So, anyways, 40 cards, the full set, come boxed, uh, 38 bucks. How, how can you go wrong with that? Uh, if you are into only like one player, you don't want to buy the whole set, I do have the individual cards broken out on my website. Feel free to go there and purchase your favorite players. Um, I have them listed for between $1 and $8, I think, on the website. So even at a dollar, you know, it's just passing along the card. Uh, but some of the bigger names or the rookies, I've, I've upped the value a little bit because um, I think there's some, some growth potential and value uh, down the road. So... We'll see. Uh, let me know if you got a bunch of these you want to buy, uh, individual players. Hit me up and I'll give you a, a, a bargain, give you a bulk deal. Uh, but if you just want one player, the price is what it is on my website. So that's it. Um, so all, all in all, quality control looks really good. The quality of the product, um, the cardstock is pretty firm. Like, it, it, I think he called it 18-point thickness. I don't know what the golden era is. Some of those might have been thinner. Like, the base, I'm not sure of the thickness. But these feel like really sturdy, really sturdy cards. Um, and I like the retro look. The, the colors don't quite pop like you would see in the golden era. And I think that is by design. To make it look like kind of the photography of back in the day. There's almost a little bit of a like a reddish hue in in the in the coloration, the backgrounds. Uh, very slight, but it's almost like that, or it's just a little bit muted of the colors. But I think it's a great set. They were I'm glad they were able to produce something on a pretty quick turnaround um between the golden era production and something else so that's about it uh again if you like these videos my mail calls my kind of reviews of sets uh i will eventually do a video of my whole collection but that's going to be such a long video i don't know if people are going to watch it i'd have to learn how to do the uh product tags so that you can look at each thing if you want to and skip over areas you don't um but then stay tuned i should be doing some box uh openings and i'll be selling spots to buy into the boxes i've got some golden era left i've got some 2023 signature and relic boxes left i've got some packs from 2021 still and I'm waiting to get the 2024 product in hand uh, to start doing some of those. Because what I kind of want to do is give you a break. Like, you get one 2021 pack. You get uh, one signature box pack. One relic box pack. And a golden era pack. Something like that. Put it all into one bundle. Uh, I don't know if I want to break out into the player style breaks where you buy into a certain player because I don't know that the price finding the price point on each player is going to be difficult and then getting 
somebody to take each player is going to be difficult. I think the only way to do that, and I don't remember who, if it was Circle One, I think it was Junk and Sons, maybe. Or no, it might. I don't remember who did it, but where you're buying like five players at one time. So we could do like a, a draft, kind of like a fantasy football thing, where if there's eight spots and there's uh, 16 groups of, of players, the first person we get to pick their five person player. And then the second person we get to pick their next, you know, obviously not the one that was taken, any of the others. And then do a snake where the A spot gets to pick 10. So two, two five person spots in a row. And if you get the first pick, you get your favorite five. And then you get the five that nobody else wanted. So it's kind of the fairest way to do it. Uh, I think that would be a unique way to, to handle it. Uh, just have to figure out how that would work. I think there's uh, 75 players, 75 or 70 ish players in the golden era. There's 75 players in the 2023 and 115 players in the 2024. Um, not don't remember 2021, but probably around 75, maybe 70, um, and different people. So I'd have to do a lot of math, but it would be kind of a fun way to handle it, I think. So definitely, I haven't had anyone contact me saying, hey, this is what you should do. This, let, let's talk about it. Hit me up in a chat and uh, figure out a way to, to make this fun for everybody uh, to get a nice selection of product. Um, I will definitely want to be want to be able to sell the Brixton stuff, the Golden Era, but I also really want to see what's in it because of my very few cards needed. Like I'm almost thinking about putting a bounty that if you hit one of the royalties that I need, I'll give you X dollars or you know f get you into a couple more breaks or something like that. Um, or the basket case and the classics gold that I need, um, or the artifacts gold even. Um, put kind of a bounty on it. I I can't mandate that you let me buy the card, but it would be kind of a fun way for you to, if you hit it, you got lucky, you get one of the cards I need, you could make out pretty well, um, potentially. Uh, so just something to think about. Hit me up, let's talk about it. I don't want to just jump right into it and, and make things goofy and weird. Um, I want these videos to be good and I want to see, you know, minimum of 10 to 20 people in, you know, involved and in wanting to buy the spots into the breaks. I don't want to just do it for a, a couple of people. So um, I know there's a hundred people in the, I don't know how many people are in the discord, but I personally have traded or sold or bought with at least 30. So it would be great to get a good diverse group of people that um, we could work on that. So that's it for now. Uh, like, share, and subscribe. And hit me up and we'll talk about trades if you got anything. Uh, only other thing I'm still looking for, 2023 DGPT Silver Foils out of 20. I need six more cards. Uh, I need Isaac Robinson, Eagle McMahon, Nate Sexton, and I have a Ben Calloway coming from Ty Tina from the DGPT, and then I need Kristen Tatar, Paige Pierce, and Cat Merch. So if you have any of those, plus the basket cases and the classics gold and the royalty and the artifacts gold, hit me up. Let's make a deal. I got tons to trade and cash if you need it. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.